Hello everybody, Eric back here. I'm glad to be able to bring this video to you on the uh, JH Adriatic. Now this fig was just awesome last year. Um, it uh, was really small uh, in the spring of 2018 and uh, it grew and uh, ripened some figs really late. It was really cold by the time they ripened and really rainy, but it was still awesome. It was still an awesome intense fig. Uh, so I've been uh, wanting to uh, try one that was ripened in the heat, and we've, you know, we've had a pretty um, normal summer, around 100, you know, for a few weeks uh, in the 90s. Today was, you know, in the 80s, it was a little better. But uh, we've got some rain coming in tonight, and I wanted to go ahead and uh, get this fig tasted. And... Uh, Ideally, I would let this go another day, but you can see, you can see the nectar or the honey pouring out of that almost more than a smith. It almost looks like a smith with the black. Um, and a little history on this tree, I just put it in ground this spring. So this was in the basement last winter and it put on a lot of figs in the pot before I planted it in ground about April 1st. And like most figs do, when I plant them from a pot into the ground, they immediately stop growing, and I assume they're growing roots all summer because their new growth stops. But it had already put on a lot of figs, and I had quite a few breb on this this year too. Um, it was real good, but this is the main crop. And uh, let's see if we can Ideally, like I said, I would let this go another day because it doesn't feel quite as soft as it could be. But maybe, uh, maybe it'll be okay. Need to get some bigger organza bags <laughs> for some of these bigger figs. I got grass all over it. Ah, that honey pouring out of there. Like I said, it almost looks like a smith with all that black. That's pretty cool. Beautiful fig. And I expect this to taste like strawberry jam. I mean, that's what a lot of these Adriatics taste like. And uh, I, the only other Adriatic type fig that I've ever had is an unknown that my dad got in like 2007 that I probably it's probably greenish ischia. Um, I know it's definitely one of the Adriatic types, but he bought it as a, he bought one fig tree that was Italian everbearing and one fig tree that was Texas everbearing. And they both grew up and they were both Adriatic. <laughs> these these uh, green figs with the strawberry interior, which that ended up being better because um, I would have never, that's what got me into figs is this awesome flavor of those of those Adriatic figs. But this is JH Adriatic, and uh, I'll go ahead and weigh it here. And let's see. Look at the honey, the nectar off of that. Wow. All right, um, 33.2. It's a pretty good size. That's bigger than the Smith was. Oh, wow. Oh wow, look at that. Dark red, intense color, really jammy. I always say these figs, you know, um, the Adriatics taste like strawberry jam. Well, I'm gonna start saying that strawberry jam tastes like an Adriatic fig because <laughs> um, figs are just awesome. They deserve more uh, than just, they taste like such and such. Maybe the strawberry jam tastes like a fig, right? And uh, fig's a healthy version of strawberry jam without all the added sugar or corn syrup, right? All right, let's taste this. Hmm. Wow. 
super intense, super sweet. You can see the, the honey pooled in there. And it's almost like the Smith. It tastes a lot like the Smith because it has that vanilla flavor with the honey that makes the strawberry, uh, uh, complements the strawberry flavor. But anyway, I'm gonna save that one and share. And I've got another one up here that's almost ripe. And I'm gonna get it too because like I said, I've got some rain coming. Now this one split a little bit. And it's not as ripe. Obviously. Because uh, the sugar spots aren't as dark. And it does have the white around the edge. But I'm going to go ahead and taste a little bit unripe one. Underripe one. Hmm. Well. To be honest with you. Not that much difference. Maybe little bit less flavor, maybe a little bit wa more watery, but uh, just an awesome fig. JJ Adriatic. Uh, thank you very much for watching.